What's up everyone? Just putting a very quick video out here, just in case it's helpful. Just a couple of days ago, I updated my NVIDIA drivers to the latest version, which is 566.14. Uh, this is the update that's brought in the whole new NVIDIA app. Now, I don't know if it's the NVIDIA app itself, but I'm definitely having some issues now. Call of Duty, Black Ops 6, I have lost like 30% of my frame rate. The game is running like ass. So, like, I'd average usually between anywhere from 190 to maybe 220, 230 FPS. And I am struggling to maintain my monitor's refresh rate at 165. Most of the time I'm seeing between 140 and 150. That is with just the game running at 1080p with no other programs running. I record and stream on a separate PC, so nothing else is running. Not a Chrome tab, not Discord. Also, I use a third party program. You might be familiar. It basically runs my fans, controls the speed of the fans, and I lost all sensor detection with it. So it wasn't able, you know, half of my fans were just completely sat still. Even with the game running at full pelt, the GPU is hitting 81, 82 degrees. It's normally not way up there. It's more, it's usually more around 70 to 72. So with the fans in the, in the PC case not working, it's definitely creeping up now. 80 degrees is still within tolerance, so it's fine like that. But I know that something's not right because it wasn't like that before the driver update. So as you'll see, the screen looks weird. I've got a huge taskbar. I've just gone ahead and uninstalled, removed all the drivers. And what I'm doing now is I'm basically just going to be installing um, an older version. So all I've done is I've asked a friend of mine what version he's got on. Everything seems to be fine for him. And he uses his GPU in a, in a similar way. I've also had a look online to see what other people think is the best driver. What I'm going to go for is I'm going to go for version 560.70 and I'm going to go ahead and install those. I'm installing the driver only. This is just a display driver and I won't be installing GeForce Experience as well because GeForce Experience is going to try and upgrade me to a different driver version, the latest again. And uh, yeah, just so that it doesn't keep annoying me with hey update now I am just gonna go ahead and install that so as you can see we are installing right now version 560.70 and uh, everything should be back to normal back how it was now I don't know if anybody else is experiencing this but if you are experiencing any issues whatsoever on the new driver by all means just do what I've done uninstall your GPU driver using display driver uninstaller it's by guru3d.com. You'll be able to find that on Google in like a heartbeat. Just type it right in. It'll come right up. You can just literally type in the Google DDU and it'll come right up at the top. Most likely guru3d.com is where you want to get it from. Just do a clean install. Just completely clean out all the drivers. And then when you restart your PC, it'll restart it for you. Go ahead and download and install 560.70. Obviously, I'm going to check to make sure everything is working as it should do before I upload this video. So if you are watching this video, it means that 560.70 is perfectly fine and everything's back to normal. So you can definitely go with that one. This happens every so often, especially when Nvidia try to do something new, like bring out this new Nvidia app. I mean, to me, it, it doesn't seem like it does anything new. It's just a different name and a different and a new look basically. But already I've just installed the driver and already all my fans have come back so I can see them all they're all running so that is just a clear indication that you know that was the problem before because I haven't done anything else all I've done is just uninstall the driver and reinstall it but I hope this helps someone out if you appreciate this or you did find it helpful go ahead and give it a like and fingers crossed we'll get back to some Black Ops 6 content within just a few moments so go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss uploads of those. That's it from me. We'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.